How would you like to turn your work into crypto art and be the next digital artist to earn millions of dollars? Then I've got good news for you. We're about to show you the process behind creating your first NFT. Recently, digital artist Beeble, who before October had never sold a print for more than $100, just sold an NFT of his work for $69 million, making him one of the top three most valuable artists alive today. So everyone's talking about NFTs right now and most are talking about how to buy and sell them, but that's not what we're gonna look at today. We're gonna to look at the simple process graphic and motion designers will need to go through if they want to turn their work into NFTs. So what is a non-fungible token or NFT? NFTs are digital tokens in the same way that Bitcoin is a digital currency. NFTs are digital collectibles. Most commonly, these are artworks, music, and other creative content. And crypto art, as it's commonly referred to, has exploded. So what makes an NFT made up of, for example, a JPEG, different from an image you could copy and paste from the internet? Well, like Bitcoin, NFTs are registered on a decentralized ledger. Think of this like a huge spreadsheet that records all of these digital pieces. And this means that the digital image you created or bought can't be forged as its authenticity can always be validated by its record on that giant spreadsheet. Yes, the image could be copied, but its ownership is absolute and can always be validated. So how does this work for creatives? Well, NFTs present an entirely new way for creators to showcase, sell and receive ongoing commission for their work. For creatives, it's an opportunity to explore an exciting decentralized platform for creating and distributing work. And the process is actually really simple. So I'm gonna hand you over to our lead designer, Rory, to take you through the process of turning your work into crypto art. Thanks, Tom. So I'm gonna take you through how we set up and export our artwork for NFTs in Adobe Illustrator. I'll then take you through the process of actually taking that artwork and uploading it to a website to set it up as an NFT. So let's head onto the computer now and get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and we already have some examples designs set up here. Now this is actually from another personal project we were working on. We're just going to use these as an example. Now the reason we have a set of designs here that follow a similar theme is because that's an approach that a lot of people are utilizing already. With NFTs a lot of people see these as collectibles. So a great idea is if you can create a set of designs that maybe have a common theme or common elements that change from iteration to iteration. This is going to add to the idea that they are collectibles. Collectibles. So that's why we've got these examples here and we're really focusing on these four logo designs that we have here Now we do have some other artboards and these are just for use on your collections page that we'll show you later on in this video So we're in Illustrator if I click on my artboard tool You'll see we have all of these set up in their own artboards again It's good to try and keep things like the dimensions consistent, especially if they're part of a set So we've just got these set up at 1080 by 1080. There's no particular writer the wrong size to set your artwork up at, although I'd probably recommend 1080 by 1080 as a minimum size as that's going to be nice and big for on-screen viewing. So these are all ready to go and export and to do that all I'm doing is going up to file, export and then export as. So I already have a folder set up to export these to, and in terms of the file format, the most commonly used for static artwork are JPEG or PNG. You can also upload GIFs as well if you have a simple animation, for example, as well as file formats like MP4. We are going to stick with PNG, and I would recommend sticking with PNG for static artwork as it's the most commonly accepted file type on a lot of the most popular NFT websites. So I'm going to select PNG. I'm also going to make sure I select use art boards and I only want to export our first four artboards here. I don't need the other two in this case so I'm going to select range and then I will enter one to four. Click export. I can keep the resolution at 72 pixels per inch. That's not a problem. I already have backgrounds set up. If you don't have a background on your artboard and you want it to be transparent obviously make sure that this drop down is set to transparent otherwise you can choose white or black as well. I'm just going to leave this as transparent. It doesn't matter in this case and I'll click OK. And as you can see, I have my four exported files here. So these are ready to go and upload to an NFT website, which we'll take you through now. Now, before we get into the setup of our NFTs, we also have a free guide download in the description below. This basically highlights and explains some of the terminology surrounding NFTs that will be very useful if you're interested in creating your own. We also don't have time to go through every single term that we encounter in the following 
process so having this to refer to is going to really help. But let's head back onto the computer now and look at the process of creating an NFT. So I'm going to start by looking at Rarible as a site to mint our NFTs. Now Rarible are a popular option, they have a very easy to use interface and we're going to take you through the process of uploading to Rarible now. So first things first, we want to choose create, then you can select single if you want to sell the NFT once or multiple if you want to let people buy more than one version of it. We're going for one piece so we will choose single. I'm going to upload our Adidas pixel art image and then I can choose a few different sale options. Basically, this is either auction style bids or an instant price. Next, we want to give it a name and description and then set the royalty amount that we want to receive every time this NFT is resold. Properties is a way to differentiate a collection for NFTs, but we don't need that for this collection. So I can go ahead and press create item. We now have a few steps to approve. It's at this point it will ask you to link a wallet to your account. We've chosen MetaMask, but you will have the option to choose from a few different wallets. It's a really simple process to connect your wallet up. Now once we press start to mint our token, we will see the gas fee for doing it. And as the price of Ethereum is high at the moment, the gas fee is high. It's going to cost us around $130 just to mint this NFT. And as this is a test collection and we're unproven digital artists, that's perhaps too much of a gamble right now. So let's head to another site called OpenSea who have a slightly different process. Again, once my wallet has been linked, I can create a collection, upload an image and name for it and then start creating my NFTs. So we'll upload our image, give it a name and then we have similar fields to complete before we can list the NFT. We're going to choose highest bid which is an auction and set the time period to a month. Now we have to approve this transaction. Again, we are going to see a high gas fee for doing this. This time it's around $200. But the difference with OpenSea is that we only have to pay this gas fee for the first NFT we create. OpenSea have a lazy minting process. This means that you won't have to pay the gas fees on your other NFTs until they are actually created. So if you want to build a large collection and you're still an unproven designer or artist, this may be the most cost effective platform. Okay, so that's it. We have our collection completed and up for auction. And that rounds up our overview and process for creating NFTs. Now don't forget, we have a free download in the description below that's a guide of popular terminology surrounding NFTs. So if you want to know a little bit more about these terms and what they mean, be sure to download that and that should help you. If you found this video interesting and you want to know more about NFTs and how to design them, let us know in the comments down below and we'll be sure to make more content on this topic. But that's it for this one guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.